polymers, we always think of it as this stuff. I mean, the drink cups you get on airplanes. It's a much bigger range than that. And it's everything from the gaskets to keep your engine from linking to the stent that somebody's put in your heart when you've had a clogged artery and they want to keep it open to the wing of an airplane. If you think about materials, we, the entire world is based upon making things out of materials. It's a necessity to have plastics and steel and concrete and clothing on the one hand. On the other hand, there's a growing number of concerns about health issues with types, certain types of materials. Some of this, I mean, this is, this is minor. If a drink cup fails, I go home, I need to change my shirt. If a stent valve fails, if a drug fails, if a polymer that's being used in an aerospace application fails, these are very, very bad things. In the past two to three years, we have been developing a systematic program of change. Some of it has to do with creating solutions, where instead of selling just individual products, we're selling groups of products together to, to solve a particular problem. The DSC 4000 that's used for quality control to make sure that the final product leaving a polymer plant meets spec. We're being a lot more bodacious about stretching the limits of electronics, mechanical engineering, chemistry, and signal processing. If you look at the DSC 8500, they're very, very capable of very fast cooling rates. This becomes real important if you want to work with polymers because when polymers come out of their extruders or their moldings, they see cooling rates of six, seven, eight hundred degrees and even more. And when the material does that, it undergoes certain changes. And it's very, very advantageous to be able to actually mimic these in the instruments. We have significantly accelerated our product development program to take a strong leadership position. The idea of looking at what a material does under its actual process conditions, the ability to measure a material right as it is in the cup without changing it by heating. Because when we heat it up, it changes a little bit. And the ability to do that is really where the cutting edge of thermal analysis is today. And that's where Perkin Elmer is. And I don't think there's anybody out there who can do it better.